YouTube, this is Coyote Lovely. Um, I have been running these missions pretty much all night long uh, because my audio screwed up on the first ones. So we're reshooting. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I said before, but we're going to start again and hope that we do well. Uh, these are the two men of Regor missions. This will be one of four, hopefully. Um, Tenno. It pleases the Void to see you taking the first steps toward righteous profit. Go forth, and remember, the Void is watching. Obviously. We cannot trust Nathaniel, but he's brought us this far, so we need to live up to our end of the agreement. Find the pump station. Obviously we're backing Nathaniel. Um, so that's fairly obvious at this point. Um, I'm going to be stopping for the voice acting, um, mostly because I like Tal Rager's voice acting, but just to kind of give um, an overall bit of the story on this one. Um, I said it in one of the earlier videos, and I'll, it bears repeating here. Um, my mom's actually a voice actress, so it's kind of something that's interesting to me, and I want to show it off. Um, my mom's done um, a couple of audiobooks, including a D&D book or two, um, which should be of no surprise to anybody that knows what a screaming dork I am. Um, I had to get it from somewhere, right, guys? Um, and she's also done, um, um, telenovelas, which are, like, soap operas from Latin America. And they're shorter than ours. Like, ours, you know, what General Hospital's been running since the entire time I've been alive. Which is not a considerable amount of time. Um, and, uh, you know, like, there's just no, like, end of the story. They just trade out cast and keep going. Telenovelas are not like that. They, they have a definitive, like, beginning, middle, and end, and... Um, it's, it's really like, my mom says she really likes it because it is kind You're of a, still in the clear. No um, detection crazy, uh, kind of thing. So, you know, they're emotional and they're weeping and screaming and crying and there's people with amnesia and it's, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so let's see. Um, this mission is a new mission. Um, it's a tactical, tactical alert, right mission, whatever. Fight. It's it's a special. Um, it's called the Two Men of Rigor, Rigor, Two Men of Rigor. Um, and I'm speed running through it predominantly because there's not a whole lot of interest hiding around in the halls here. I mean, if I'm walking by a thing, I might as well grab it, right? Uh, I'm playing on Mag Prime. Ta-da, Mag Prime. Um, predominantly because the mini boss at the end of this is a manic bombard, and you have not lived until you stared at a manic bombard and thought, what the hell am I going to do with that? Um, <clears throat> I found that Mag Prime's bullet attractor makes that fight easy peasy, lemon squeezy, so that's why I'm bringing her with me. Um, oops. Um, not stopping for a whole lot of the fighting, and I'm not stopping for, like I said, any of the loot, just because it's kind of unnecessary. It's very easy to get through here. Um, let's deal with whatever happens. Oh my goodness. Alarm successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm shooting the Bratton Prime, I believe, and um, the Dex Furious, if I'm not mistaken, and I've got the um, Alan Kalos, something like that, the melee weapon that's like this weapons. It's like, it's just on the tip of my tongue. Um, on Kyros? On Kyros? That sounds right. The pump station. Look for weak points in the pipes and of course, I really should have checked my ammo. Okay, whatever. All's well, it didn't fall. Um, I've run these missions I can't tell you how many times, and I've run them I can't tell you how many more with the recording. Ha ha, I didn't do it this time. I always run through that stupid wall. Um, I have, like with the recording, and then I just kind of screwed up and the audio Good. was really bad. I turned down my microphone for um, another program, <coughs> and, um, and then had cranked up the audio on Warframe, because I haven't been recording on Warframe, so I've been listening to music instead. And, uh, that really made for only the barest part of my voice coming through, and that's not as exciting to, to go through, because there's part swaths of this where there's nothing going on. The pumps have started. Um, a lot of the reason I'm recording this, though, is because, uh, the boy's computer has gone 
um, the way of the dodo. My science. Uh, he it just got a new one, but um, it's still being set up. But I have the numbers. Uh, Add those numbers. So he Mix hasn't been able to do waters. these missions and might not be back on in time uh, for the missions so to be done by him. Forever. So I kind of wanted him to see what the whole mission's been about. And I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and do this. Um, the reason I haven't done a video in a while, since I'm not keeping any of my previous videos um, in this Warframe little series, mini series, uh, is because I've actually been out of town a lot. And it's been something like a month and a half worth of time out of town. Yikes! Not good, not good, not good, not good. Um, a month and a half's worth of time out of town over the past, I don't know, five months or so. Um, maybe six months, I don't remember exactly. It's been roughly a third of my time has been away from home, and so it's just been all, you know, when I've been at home, I just haven't had the ability to sit down and, and actually record, and it does complete. take some time. To um, the caves but with the boy's computer being broken, um, that freed up some time. Unfortunate time, because I don't want that time freed up. I want to spend that time with him. And, um, excuse me, off the dog. Um, but uh, that has freed up quite a bit of time, and, um, and then, you know, I'm not going out of town again anytime soon, so, um, I hope. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, I've had some, had some time for myself, and I figured I'd go ahead and do that. Good way to get back into, into the swing of things. Remember all the different buttons on the programs and, and kind of jazz. So, um, there you are. Excuse me, thank you. Um... I have been, in the past couple of months, I've been to Florida to visit my parents. Um, I have been to Prague for work. Um, if you've never been to Prague, Prague is the capital of the Czech Republic. It's a gorgeous place. Um, kind of a, a, a historical look in the time, because it's, it's got all these gorgeous 15th century um, buildings, and yet everything is kind of Art Nouveau, Art Deco, and like big band, and um, that kind of vibey 1920s kind of beauty. So it's really just a... What the hell? No, I'm curious. Huh? Oops, oops. I never noticed that before. We're exploring new things today. And my, uh, both... Both my mouse and my, my keyboard need new batteries. And being... A hair difficult. There we go. A hair difficult. Well, I'll be. Look at that. Somebody right now at home is watching this and going, I knew about that all along. I really haven't been stopping to look. Anyway, um, moving on. Uh, Prague. Prague. Lovely, lovely place. Um, I like the, the, Art Deco and big band influences in it. Um, it, it gives it kind of a an interesting mix because that 15th century architecture is so like blackened and, and gothic spires and things like that. And then Art Nouveau and Art Deco are so colorful and flowy. So it's really quite a an interesting Alarms mix between reset. the two. So I would say if you if you've never had a chance to visit Prague, go do it. Um, they don't like being called a cheap location, but they're Where is the void, Tano? Uh, for it okay. has led you into the cradle of evil. Um, this is the cloning this lab. Is the Raise the tubes Mookie and destroy them. Kind of ones. Anyway, um, post. Uh, but yeah, so it's it was a very interesting place to go, and um, it's they don't like it to be called cheap, um, but the truth is it's pretty inexpensive. Um, but you get, you know, truly top-notch, like, five-star service while you're there for not a whole lot of money. So, even if you're on a budget, you can really make, you know, make a beautiful vacation in Prague and, um, comes highly recommended. So, give it a go. If you've been to Prague, um, you know, leave a, leave some comments in the, in the section below here just because, you know, it'd be cool to, you know, geek out with somebody about Prague. Um, I did get to eat at a really awesome hotel, or hotel, a really awesome restaurant. Um, called Restaurant Zivonis. Um, I might not be saying that right, but whatever. Um, and the Zivonis is a 15th century bell tower. Um, and you eat up in the top floors right next to the bells, and it's quite pretty. Um, I had wild boar there, and they, like, damn near, you know, caught the boar that day kind of thing. <laughs> Try to stop my science? My progress 
the inevitable. That's impossible. Too many numbers now. And when the research is finished, so many more. Um, so yeah. After I left Prague, I came back through London because why not? I had to go see the guy. And so I saw my love. Um, and then um, came back after that. So, uh, and then I went to I went to San Francisco to witness the wedding of my two best friends in the whole wide world. Um, and I was the maid of honor. And that was fun. Um, can't wait to see all the pictures, the professional pictures from that one. So um, <laughs> that was fairly recently. It's done. Um, this lab won't produce any more that is, oh, and then I've been killers. I've been in and out of uh, Southern California, like the LA area, for uh, mostly for the LARP. That's what um, most. I want to go back to the fabric Tenno. district, but just you know, I've just been in and out of in and out. Can of you area. feel that, Tenno? The void has shown Olive V and Jill Regor the brunt of its justice. The void be the word. And the word be prophet. Nephi, Nephi. Should have known. Should have put two and two in combination. No surprise, no surprise at all. Find a bottom feeder at the bottom of the sea. So yeah. Oh, we're pretty much getting up to the end here, and that's pretty much all of the uh, voice acting in this version. Um, so I'm going to shoot the rest of these guys and say thank you very much for joining us and listening to me prattle on about Prague and my vacations and trips. Um, until next time, I hope you have a great time playing whatever game you're playing. Leave your game in the comments. And uh, as always, keep having fun.